Hi, it's Radek. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the reasons why I teach all my horses to respect my space. I'm going to be working with a 12-year-old mare, Lila. She is quite shy. With me in a saddle, Lila is able to go over Cavaletti in trot and she can even do a little bit of jumping as well. Having to go over Cavaletti during groundwork in a round pen is however new to her and she is scared of it. I'm going to try to calm her down and get her to go over the Cavaletti. This is one of the situations when teaching my horse to keep my personal space really shows its benefits. It increases your respect and teaches your horse to never go over you. Without your horse respecting your space, you will not be able to do any free lunging when you communicate by just moving around in relation to your horse. Basically, when I want to ask my horse to move forward, I step towards his rear. When I want to ask my horse to stop or to change direction, I move towards his front. It's important to react on the movement of your horse immediately and change your position as quickly as your horse changes his. When Lila wants to change direction to avoid the Cavaletti and she does it slowly, I'm also going to be moving slowly. If she moves fast, I will also have to move fast. How fast I move and the sort of pressure I create always have to reflect the way my horse is behaving. The better your horse respects your space, the easier it's going to be to do groundwork with him. Especially when he gets scared of something or doesn't want to do something. Like now for example when Lila doesn't want to go over the Cavaletti. You will not need as much effort to get your horse to do what you are asking and you will not have to use the lunging whip too much. Now let's quickly talk about what I do when my horse gets scared of something else. Now, Lila is scared of the Cavaletti, but it could be a plastic bag on the road or whatever else. I don't let Lila get too far away from the Cavaletti. However, I don't urge her too hard to go over it either. Sometimes it's difficult to tell how much is your horse actually scared or whether he's just trying to gain some dominance. Push a scared horse too much to go to a place that he's really scared of and he will likely react very suddenly and end up hurting himself and you as well. When I want my horse to get over his fear of something or fear of going somewhere, I don't let him leave the scary object, but I don't push him too hard and I give him enough time. It always should be you who decides about where your horse is gonna go. However, you should never end up making your horse more afraid of you than he is of the thing that he's scared of. Trying to remove his fear of something by introducing an even bigger fear of you doesn't work. If you want to remove your horse's fear while improving your relationship and his trust towards you, you can't just tell him, hey, this thing is not dangerous. The only thing you can do is to let him discover it for himself. I give my horse enough time to discover it for himself. Then I let him walk over the scary object there and back repeatedly until he gets fully comfortable with it. It doesn't matter if it's Cavaletti or a train track or a little river or something. Lila speeds up while she's going over the Cavaletti. It doesn't mean that she's happy and excited about it, it means that she's stressed about it. So I continue practicing going over it until I see that she calmed down and no longer speeds up while going over it. I repeat everything the next day. In the beginning, Lila got a bit scared again and tried to avoid the Cavaletti. However, everything went a lot faster and after some time I was even able to lift the Cavaletti a little bit. So let's get back to the beginning. I said that when your horse respects your space, it's going to be a lot easier to get him to do something that he doesn't feel like doing. The better your horse respects your space, the more he's going to be trusting you and the better he will follow your leadership. Thank you for watching. 